Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am the Traveling Man and I come to you today from onboard the Celebrity Summit docked here in Miami, Florida, where I'm embarking on a four-day cruise down to Cozumel. This is my first time on one of these smaller celebrity ships and I'm so excited to explore it and tell you all about it. So come on if you're ready. Let's get this adventure started. is the room we're in stateroom 7157 this is a veranda stateroom wow this is really cool this is the uh just first glance first look at it this is the uh you know what you expect from celebrity cruises uh this is an old ship it premiered in 2001 but you couldn't tell it from this room because they have completely revolutionized it you see it's got the if you've been on the edge class it's got the same sort of mirrors and furnishings um, that the edge class has it's really nice uh, the only way you can tell it is old really is the actual walls themselves and then the bathroom we'll go in the bathroom in a minute you can see the bathroom walls as well but the lighting and everything in here uh, has been upgraded everything except the phone this phone looks like it's from 1992 uh, but I'm pretty impressed with this of course it's not a huge room because this is an older ship back before they had super huge rooms I guess but the best part of the room of course per usual is the veranda and this is ours here on deck seven you can take a look out here in the port of Miami you can see it's uh, the balcony itself isn't obstructed but uh, you don't get a you know look right down at the ocean there is a deck or a platform down there there's some lifeboats right over there but yeah this is the veranda this is it and that's Miami so let's go back in and look real quick at the bathroom because I am curious I gotta make sure this door shuts behind me there we go so the air stays on uh, here's another thing here's the air system in this room we'll go ahead and take ooh, we'll take care of that we'll put it all the way in this position do I have any other air conditioning fans out there one of the first things I do when I come into my stateroom is cut that air down Let's see what the bathroom ooh look at the bathroom this is nice yeah this is like the edge class bathrooms and again I keep saying edge class because that's um, my experience pretty much with modern elegance as I call it modern luxury uh, this looks like an edge class ship when you're in the bathroom and they actually have nice, very uh, nicely tiled floors. And then look at the shower. Oh, the door opens in. That's that's good. Um, that's really cool. It's a nice shower. Here, I'll get in it uh, and turn around. It's quite narrow, um, but it's long enough, you know. And it's nice that it's not just a shower curtain. I like that. But yeah, here's the bathroom. How cool is the stateroom? I like it. An old ship, but... Uh, completely revolutionized modern updated renovated stateroom however here on the wall there are pieces of paper stuck like between the trim and the top of the like wall with a ceiling uh there's one there and then there's one right down there this is gonna be terrible zoom but i'm gonna do it so i don't know what's going on with that i don't know what that is i don't know if they're like notes that i should take down and read maybe it's money or maybe it's just keeping that thing from rattling all night. So I think I'm going to leave it alone, but that was just very curious. I've never seen in my stateroom before, and not sure why the stateroom attendant wouldn't have taken that out. So now we've made it to the room. I came to the room. Well, I didn't come to the room first. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. But we're here in the room. We're here in beautiful Miami, Florida. You can see Miami right here behind me. Uh, pretty unusual, I feel like, for celebrity to be cruising from Miami. Because normally when I've cruised, I'm going to step inside because it's hot out there. Normally when I've cruised uh, with Celebrity before from South Florida, it's been from Fort Lauderdale, but I guess they do some cruises from Miami. It was kind of a very worrisome week. I was uh, anxious about this trip because we did have Tropical Storm Nicole hit Florida this morning. She actually hit up uh, 
more north of Miami, more near uh, Daytona Beach and Orlando, Central Florida area. But my flight was this morning, so I had to actually fly around Tropical Storm Nicole. I was a hurricane hunter, y'all. Able to see the hurricane, we flew right beside it. We could feel a little bump from the hurricane, so that was cool. However, the Celebrity Summit and the Carnival Sunrise, which is parked behind us, we'll see that in a minute, uh, they were both actually delayed because the Port of Miami was closed this morning. But they were very quick to open it up. Uh, embarkation was only delayed by one hour. And my embarkation time was scheduled for 10.30. I showed up at 11. The doors still weren't open, but there were plenty of people in line. And then just a few minutes later, right after 11, they opened the doors. And only about 30 to 45 minutes later, I was on board the ship. So very, very quick embarkation process here in the Port of Miami today. One of the first people in line though, so um, th that's why there wasn't that much wait. So try to get here as early as you can and you're allotted check-in time. And one of the first things I did when I boarded is something that I've tried before and I've told you all about in uh, some other videos. I went straight to guest services because I was actually booked in an inside cabin for this cruise, my first time in an inside cabin ever. Uh, but I wanted a balcony. I always want a balcony. You know a balcony is my favorite. An actual balcony is my favorite now. So I went to guest services as soon as I boarded and they said, yeah, we have one. And for a four night cruise, it only cost me $150 to upgrade from an inside to a balcony. So I think that was a great deal. So if you ever want an upgrade, I'm going to say it again. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Go to guest services first thing when you board the ship because there's probably going to be a lot of people on this cruise and I'm sure a lot of them are going to ask for upgrades and a lot of people aren't going to get them because they're going to run out of upgrades. So uh, they didn't have suites available, uh, but they did have some verandas. So $150 veranda, deal of the day. I'm really excited about that. And it's a great room as you've seen as I walked around and did the little tour. Yeah, I think that's everything. I talked about the embarkation process. I've talked about the room and my upgrades. So y'all, it's time to get this cruise started. I have not seen very much of the ship at all. I got on the ship, went to guest services, came to my room. So we're gonna go explore the ship. We're gonna have four days on board. So you're gonna make sure you go down below right now, right now. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Have a lot of Celebrity Summit content to come and it's gonna be a great cruise. So uh, let's go check out some of this ship. I'm really excited. So real quick for comparison's sake, this is actually the room I was supposed to have. This is 1121 here on deck 11 and it's a beautiful, beautiful interior stateroom one of the best interiors i've seen uh it's set up about the same you got the closets the storage here the bed over there and the bathroom here same size bathroom same layout as the bathroom uh in the other room a little bit different thermostat in here interestingly enough uh, and a smaller tv in this room though than i have in the veranda so i think i made a good choice I just had to come collect some things that I had in here. And yeah, this was the inside room. 1121 here on board Celebrity Summit. All right, so here at deck 10, and one of the first places that we come to, I think, is the Ocean View Cafe. Oh, I was right. So uh, it's almost one o'clock, so I think it's time for some lunch. So uh, let's check this Ocean View Cafe out. here at the back of Ocean View Cafe. They have sections for make your own pasta, of course make your own salads, there's pizza over here, there's a fruit and cheese bar over here, and then of course, uh, like on all celebrity ships, just aft of Ocean View Cafe is the deck where you can eat outside. We're looking behind us here in the Port of Miami today, the Carnival Sunrise back there. Also doing short haul cruises, three to five day cruises out of Miami. It turned out to be a beautiful day, just knowing that there's a hurricane just that way. And you can see some of the clouds from, uh, well, what's now Tropical Storm Nicole. But it's so nice here. The sun's uh, bouncing off the water, making this beautiful green water, beautiful blue sky. Perfect embarkation day. Just a tad humid, but we are on the other side of a tropical storm, so it only makes sense. All right, so here's the first meal. Got some fried chicken that they always seem to have on embarkation day. Uh, fries, a Greek salad, and some fish. So just forward from the Ocean View Cafe, is the main pool deck here on board and it's not very big but this isn't a very big ship 
Uh, here's the pool here. There's a couple, well, there's four hot tubs here. Uh, and then seating all around the top here. As you can see all around there. up the stairs now to the rooftop terrace uh, there is a basketball court here a lot of folks ask me if celebrity has basketball courts they do on uh, the solstice class ships and they do on the Millennium class but they don't on the edge class as we make our way on aft here on the very top deck of the ship this is deck 12 I believe it's gonna take us back here to the rooftop terrace top terrace is very comparable to well it's sort of like, it's not comparable, but it's uh, it's supposed to be a lot like the rooftop garden area of the ship that you find on the edge class of ships. So there's a screen back here, places to sit and watch movies, plenty of seating back here. And then of course, beautiful views. So just inside this little rounded glass sculpture dome thing here is actually the elevators inside the ship. So it's really cool as you're coming or going up and down the elevators in the ship, you're actually here, you know, having views of the ocean. You can just look right out the glass and see the ocean. So that's pretty unique. You don't see that very often on any, uh, or not a lot of the cruise lines at least. So really cool to see here on board the Celebrity Summit. And uh, this ship is pretty full so far. I think we're gonna have uh, probably north of a 75 or 80 percent capacity what I've heard and uh, it's definitely filling up definitely feeling like embarkation days of old when you'd have plenty of people out on the deck plenty of people in the ocean view the buffet and this is literally art uh, this is the sky lounge the sky observation lounge so this overlooks the very front of the ship you see this glass wraps all the way around this venue it's a great place to come and sit uh, maybe bring some friends, bring some coffee or some drinks. There is a bar up here also. You can get your drinks up here as well. well this is very cool. This reminds me of Equinox. So you have a Sky Lounge on Equinox also. Do not have Sky Lounge on Edge Class ships? And a lot of people have asked me about that. But there is no Sky Lounge like this on the Edge Class ships. And then down there we can see the helipad all the way forward. We can gotcha. see Miami and we can see some very brave window cleaners. Interesting observation as I'm walking around, uh, this ship feels a lot like Solstice class or Equinox. When I was on Equinox, that's a lot like what this ship feels like, but on a smaller scale. It's not as big as Equinox. It's not as big as the Solstice class of ships. But the Millennium class of ships have that older celebrity feel that I feel like the Solstice class ships have also. So completely different from the Edge class of ships. If you've only been on the newer ships or seen the newer ships, this is completely different. I think this is more, um, you know, vintage cruising, we'll say, or older cruising these ships are. They're smaller. They've outfitted this one. They've renovated this one. I think they renovated this one in 2018 or 2019. In the last four or five years, they renovated this one to make it more modern. So it does have that same modern aesthetic in some places, like the buffet, like some of the state rooms. They have tried to retrofit those a little bit and bring some of the modern elegance that you'll find on their edge class of ships onto these older ships. I think that's really nice because that's what I love about Celebrity is that modern elegance. So 
I'm loving this ship so far because of that, because you see all those modern um, staterooms and the modern finishings all around the ship that you expect on a celebrity cruise ship if you've only sought their edge class ship. So it's cool to see that translate throughout the fleet now. So, so far as I walk around, that's just an observation. It's very much like the Solstice class of ships. But overall, it has the celebrity vibe. So this is deck 10 here forward, is the Solarium. Of course, uh, Solarium, another staple for all celebrity cruise ships. Uh, this one is definitely smaller than uh, the one on Sosa's class and uh, certainly the one on Edge class, but you know, it's a smaller ship, so that's to be expected. But you still have the hot tubs, you have the main pool, you have the seating area and the windows where you can look out. Of course, this is all covered. So you don't have to worry about the rain or the cold or anything like that. And then right here in the solarium is the spa cafe and juice bar, yet another celebrity staple. So that'll all be set up here. And of course, when you walk further aft from the solarium, you're out on the main pool deck, uh, which is where we really started this little walking tour that we're doing. Now we've come down to deck five because it is almost 2 p.m. And don't tell anyone, but I still haven't done my muster drill yet. So uh, we need to go do muster drill so that we can officially be on a cruise. So um, I'm headed there now. I gotta find D2, and this is A2. So I'm assuming that D is probably near the back. Of course, the shops are closed now because we are still in port, but they'll open up later tonight when we get out to sea. Uh, but it looks like they have the typical cruise ship shops that you'd expect. A lot of uh, jewelry places. They have a lot of perfumes, watches, things like that. But again, hope you see what I was talking about a minute ago when I talk about the furnishings, the carpet, the sofas here, um, just the way that they have decorated uh, the ship. You know, it's very modern. It's very, uh, like I say, I'll go say it again, the modern elegance that you expect on Celebrity, the bigger ships, here on a much smaller scale. So I really like that so far. I really like the art everywhere, and I really like the design of the ship. It's really beautiful. Uh, here's a future cruise desk right here by the shops and now we're getting into the main atrium so deck five right here is cafe albacho we are on the starboard side of the ship and then over on port you have uh, a place to get gelato more seating areas and then of course it all looks down open to the decks down below cellar masters um, and it's just a big a big bar, a big uh, lounge is what it is. There's a lot of seating in here. Again, look at the design in here. Look at the uh, furnishings in here. Very modern, modern elegance um, all around. And there's a bar back here as well. So here in the aft on deck five are some of the dining rooms on the other side over there, which is the starboard side of the ship, is Cosmopolitan Restaurant, which is one of the main dining rooms that's included in your cruise fare here. And then here on port side on deck five in the aft is blue. Blue, of course, is that uh, restaurant exclusive only to those guests staying either in suites or in the aqua class and it's really good now we're back here at deck four in the app still looking for my mustard station oh I think I found it D2 that's it I think we go outside we got there in just a second all right so I did find my mustard station I'm in it now this is the rendezvous lounge here in the middle of deck four about midship um, again though I'm really really liking this ship really liking it uh, the renovations that they've done just the way that it's outfitted it's beautiful it still has that quaint small cruise ship feeling uh, it's not a huge ship at all by any standards uh, but it feels very modern you know this feels like a they don't make small cruise ships generally they don't make small cruise ships anymore uh, but this feels like a small cruise ship that they would have made you know in the past five or ten years and that's really neat Awesome to be on the Celebrity Summit. Tonight I'm going to Tuscan Grill. It needs updating. It's very old inside. 